Hey everybody, Chris from Chris Tantry with you. Just gonna give you a quick blog. A um, couple of days ago now, I think, maybe a little longer by the time this video gets out, there was a uh, mass shooting at an Oregon community college uh, where I believe it was about seven people were killed and multiple censured. Uh, of course, a sad event. Anytime there's a shooting and even one guy's involved is a, a sad thing. But uh, the, the reason I feel so inclined to make this blog is just, I can't help but notice any time we've had a, a school shooting in recent years, the reaction is the same from the government and quite frankly quite a few people. Everybody says the same thing, we need more gun control, we need more gun control. I don't subscribe to this theory. And here's why. Um, the main reason I don't subscribe to, I, I, well, I'm going to kind of back up for a second. I do subscribe to, we need gun control in the way that we need to stop criminals and those who are men deemed mentally ill from having access to guns. I do believe in that. In fact, I, I feel like the government, while they're on the right track, they're not doing enough to, to get to that goal. But the main reason I don't subscribe to gun control is for a multitude of reasons. Any, any death involved in, in a, a gun murder or what have you is, is too many. The only, the only murder I feel fine about really is if it was warranted, if it was to per, preserve life or property. That kind of thing. Basically a self-defense shooting, if you will. Um... But the thing, the thing that I've always talked about these shootings is if you think about it, the vast majority of these shootings where multiple lives are lost usually occur at uh, colleges, universities, or schools. And, and think about this for a moment. You go to like a courthouse or most of the other businesses, the people that are in and out of those businesses are allowed to conceal carry for the most part. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's quite a few exceptions. But for the most part, people are allowed to, to uh, conceal carry. But what do you see when you're usually at, at schools or universities or colleges? This is a drug-free in school, uh, a drug-free and a gun-free zone. To me, that, that it's almost like kind of providing a target to people with guns that want to hurt and kill multiple people. Because they know, at the most, there's only going to be one person on that entire campus, school ground, what have you, that will be able to retaliate and stop a person with a gun intent on causing death and harm. Whereas, if you go to like a, if, the, if said gunman wanted to go to like a business or what have you, he may or he may, he doesn't, to me, to me, he doesn't really stand the best chance of getting stopped. He doesn't stand the best chance of getting what he's wanting done if he tries to start up a shooting or whatnot. That's always been my main thing, and I think that's a lot of the reasons why these shootings happen where they happen, at schools and stuff like that. Number one, at the most, only one person is going to have access to a gun to stop this guy. Number two, you got people confined in rooms, what have you. It's, it's, it, you know, it's just like they're they're trapped in the sense. If you really want it to cause harm, and also, of course, the media is going to sensationalize on that too. So that's why I feel like, to a point, why. It's always the schools and stuff getting shot at. It also comes back to gun control because usually they come back and say, well, this guy was a criminal, he wasn't supposed to have access to a gun, or he was mentally, mentally ill, but he wasn't supposed to have access to a gun, that kind of thing. So it's kind of twofold. It's, it's the checks and balances that are supposed to be there haven't been effective, and at the same time, there's no one, the, the people at the schools and at the colleges aren't able to defend themselves. My feelings and my theory on correcting this is to remove the gun free, the gun free zones, if you will. And this is why I feel that way. The vast majority of gun owners, I feel, are responsible gun owners. 
And the frustrating part is, you know, it's like, it's like that famous saying, all it takes is a bad apple to ruin it for everybody else. But I want you to think about this and, and think pretty hard about this. And again, this is just my opinion. So, you know, feel free to take it with whatever grain of salt. It's just my idea, my feelings. But my feeling is, is if the schools weren't a gun-free zone, and you're a criminal or, or whoever, your guy access to a gun and you're wanting to do harm. Do you really think you're going to want to go into an environment where you really don't know who else has access to a gun or who has a gun on them? I mean, think about it. If these schools had, like, a lot of their teachers to con conceal carry or stuff like that, I mean, the students probably won't be having it, especially, like, at the K-12 schools, just, you know, gun laws and everything, but at least the teachers. If this guy goes into a school intent on doing harm and half of these teachers have guns, he ain't going to make it too far. And, you know, the key, people won't really have to worry about having to rely on these lockdown drills and everything else. If a gunman breaks into a classroom or a library setting or something like that, and there's someone in that room with a gun, chances are that person can stop them. Because usually, I mean, I'm not sure about all of the, the gunmen and stuff like that. I mean, yeah, for the most part, some of the gunmen were pretty knowledgeable on the on the school grounds and the settings, but, you know, if the teacher's already in that room or if a, a responsible gun owner is already in that room that the suspect or perpetrator breaks into, I'd be willing to bet the teacher's going to be able to pull out his gun and fire and, and disable the shooter. So, that, that, again, this is just my theory. I don't subscribe to the gun feelings. I've always said the problem The problem always lies with, number one, the checks and balances aren't in love, and number two, by restricting access to guns in these zones, it makes the schools more vulnerable to shootings. So, and, and because of this, this is why I'm really strongly against gun control or, or stripping guns away from everybody. Because, I, it's just to me, that kind of philosophy, I hate to say it, it leans more on, on, the stupid, on, on the stupid knowledge. Because think about it, drugs are illegal, yet we all know dang well and good that, you know, people are still using heroin, crack, meth, whatever. Because there's an underground black market for it, despite the fact it's illegal. So, think of the same knowledge. If you take guns away... Well, you're taking the guns away from the law-abiding citizens, so the the basically these law-abiding citizens can no longer defend themselves against people who get access to these guns, be a black market, underground, underground, whatever. Because I guarantee, you take away the guns, there are still going to be people trying to, you know, there will still be people that have their ways of getting guns. So that just makes the Americans more exposed, more vulnerable, and I think you actually see more shootings because people who can get these guns without the government knowing are going to be able to do more harm. So that's why I get very frustrated with people that preach about gun control and stripping the Second Amendment. Again, just my idea, my thoughts, my philosophy. I'm Chris for Chris Country. Hope this video was entertaining for you, or at least thoughtful. Um, Feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys are having a great day, night, week, weekend, whatever time it happens to be. And I will see you next time I decide to make a video. Catch you later.